Hello everyone, kumusta po kayo? I hope that you are all doing good. I received a lot of questions on how to apply for 13A or 13G visa. These are two of the non-quota permanent resident visas that the foreign nationals can look into if they plan to reside permanently in the Philippines. These two visas have similarities but for this video I will focus on 13A visa or the spousal visa, its requirements and the process in applying for such visa. We will talk about that right after this. If you are new to this channel and you think that this channel can be of help in providing you with useful and relevant information, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you will get notified of our future videos. Maraming salamat po! Get married to a Filipino citizen and you will be qualified to apply for permanent residency in the Philippines. It may sound cliche but it's true. Being married to a Filipino citizen is the main qualification for a foreign national or citizen to apply for a 13A visa. But you must bear in mind that since this visa is dependent on your marriage to a Filipino citizen, you can keep this visa only for as long as you are married to a Filipino citizen. Once the marriage is terminated for whatever ground or reason, then your visa would have no more leg to stand on. For example, if your Filipino spouse dies or predeceases you, your marriage is terminated and the basis for your spousal visa is also gone. The same thing will happen if you got divorced abroad or your marriage is annulled or judicially declared null and void by a Philippine court. In that case, you will need to convert your spousal visa to another permanent resident visa or to downgrade your visa. You might tell me, I am still interested to apply for spousal visa. I will deal with that situation later, meaning you will just cross the bridge when you get there. So how do you apply for a spousal visa? Well, you have two options. You can apply for the spousal visa while you are still in your home country, or you can go to the Philippines and start your application process there. If you are still in your home country and you are already married to a Filipino citizen, you can apply for the 13A or spousal visa by simply submitting the visa application and your requirements to the Philippine consulate that is situated in your home country. But if you are yet to be married to a Filipino citizen, you may fly to the Philippines either visa-free or on a temporary visitor's visa depending on whether you are from an EO408 country, get married there, and then apply for conversion to 13A visa. If you want to know more about the visa-free entry for foreign nationals from the EO408 countries, I have discussed this matter in this video. You can watch it later. In the second scenario, when you apply for a 13A visa while you are in the Philippines, you may be issued a probationary visa which is valid for one year and which can be converted to a permanent resident visa when the Bureau of Immigration finds you qualified for it. So what are now the requirements for the 13A or spousal visa application? For 13A visa, the Filipino spouse should be the one to request or petition for the issuance of the immigrant visa to his or her spouse. The following documentary requirements must be submitted. First, the report of marriage if the marriage was contracted outside the Philippines. If the report of marriage was filed over a year from application, or if the marriage was solemnized in the Philippines, you must submit the marriage certificate issued by the Philippine Statistics Authority or PSA. Next, two copies of duly accomplished application form or FA form number three. Note that application forms that are incompletely filled out will just be returned to the applicant. Third, valid passport whose validity must extend at least one year beyond the length of proposed stay in the Philippines. The original passport and two photocopies of the passport must be submitted then, for pieces of 2x2 two two size photographs taken within the last six months. The applicant's signature must be affixed on the front side of the picture. Fifth, medical certificate, or FA form number 11 accomplished by a local physician. All supporting documents must be submitted in triplicate or three copies. A chest x-ray plate in CD must accompany the certificate, together with the results for the following tests, 
1. Stool, ova or parasite and occult blood, 2. Urinalysis, and 3. Complete blood test, blood serology and chemistry. 6. Apostled local state police clearance obtained within the last six months. The original copy and one photocopy must be submitted. 7. Proof of financial capacity, such as the latest printout showing statement of credit card account or accounts, latest printout of bank account statements, ownership of real estate properties, and other documents showing the applicant's capacity to financially support himself or herself during his or her stay in the Philippines. You will need more than one type of proof of financial capacity. 8. Personal appearance of the applicant for an interview by the consular officer. 9. The payment of immigrant visa fee of $150 cashier's check if in person, if by mail, cashier's check or postal money order. Then, the proof of Philippine citizenship of Filipino spouse such as the Philippine passport or Philippine birth certificate. Original and two photocopies of the applicant's apostled birth certificate. And the original and photocopy of a notarized letter from the Filipino spouse requesting or petitioning the issuance of an immigrant visa to his or her foreign spouse. It is strongly recommended that you visit the official website of the Philippine Embassy or Consulate for specific instructions on how to proceed with your visa application. If you are already in the Philippines, you will have to submit your application to the Bureau of Immigration. The following are the requirements. 1. Joint letter request addressed to the commissioner from the applicant and the petitioning Filipino spouse. 2. Duly accomplished consolidated general application form or the BI form CGAF 001 Rev 2. 3. Marriage certificate or marriage contract. 4. Birth certificate or certified true copy of BI issued identification certificate as Filipino citizen of the Filipino spouse. 5. Photocopy of passport bio page and latest admission with valid authorized stay. 6. Valid National Bureau of Investigation or NBI clearance, if the application is filed six months or more from the date of first arrival in the Philippines. 7. Bureau of Immigration or BI clearance certificate, and 8. Original or certified true copy of Bureau of Quarantine Medical Clearance, if the applicant is a national of any of the countries listed under Annex A of Immigration Operations Order No. SBM 14-059A who arrived in the Philippines on or after June 2014. This Immigration Operations Order requires a covered foreign national to submit an original or certified true copy of his BOQ medical clearance upon the filing of his covered visa application with the Bureau. This is in view of the Ebola outbreak in West Africa, which was considered as a public health emergency of international concern, by virtue of the statement issued by the World Health Organization on August 8, 2014. The BOQ medical clearance is required only for the citizens of those countries listed in Annex A of the order. The link for the copy of the order with the list of those countries is posted on the description of this video. Here is the procedure. Secure the CGAF from either at the Public Information and Assistance Unit or PIAU at BI Ground Floor Main Office or from the official BI website. Submit the documents for pre-screening to the Central Receiving Unit or CRU or to the frontline officer or staff of other immigration offices able to process this transaction. Get the Order of Payment Slip or OPS. Pay the required fees. Submit copy of official receipt. Attend the scheduled hearing. Please refer to the official receipt for the schedule and venue of the hearing and image and fingerprint capturing. Proceed to image and fingerprint capturing counter of the Alien Registration Division or ARD and submit requirements for the Alien Certificate of Registration Immigration Card or ACR iCard application. Check the website if your visa application is already approved. If your visa application is approved, submit your passport for visa implementation. If the ACR iCard is approved, Claim your ACRI card. I hope that you have learned something from this video. If you wish to be notified of our future videos, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell icon. Always remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. I will see you in my next video. Ingat po kayo!